Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Yvonne, this is Sticky Mare 17 and I'm here to give you cleaning, inspiration, motivation and information. Thank you so much for coming along. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, hit the like button and make sure your notification bells are turned on so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a video. On my website, you'll find information about the products I use in my house, as well as down in the description box, my website is stickymess17.co.uk. And with all of that said, I have a little bit of news for you. Have you ever heard of Speed Spot? I am one of the top ranking cleaning motivational video makers on Feedspot, so be sure to check them out, feedspot.com. I'll have any information linked in the description box below. We are still in lockdown, so today I've got an upstairs clean for you. I tried to do the best I can, I'm now getting tired, so the next video will be my downstairs, and I need to seriously tackle some of my kitchen cupboards, so be sure to check that out on Wednesday this week. Also in today's video, make sure you watch till the end because this little bugger behind me, mm -hmm, my bed, it defeated me. So if you want a little bit of a bed one, Yvonne zero, make sure you watch to the end. Anyway guys, with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get into it. Sunday, so guess what? It's bed clearing day. We've obviously had movie night overnight, so I'm stripping down my daughter's sleepover bed. Uh, put that down, changing our bed now. Our mattress protector needs a bit of a wash, so that's going to go through on a wash, and then I'm going to remake the bed later. My bed is made with a obviously, I've got my mattress, my electric blanket, a mattress protector, and then my sheet. So that's the mattress protector coming off now, and then I'm going to give my electric blanket a very good vacuum. Um, this doesn't really need to come off. I do wash it probably twice a year, but as I say, I've got a mattress protector on top of it and also my sheet. So it's having a very good vacuum just to freshen it up. And also the suspenders that I use to hold all my sheets down on my mattress. If you've got sheets that like to fly up, have a look at my mattress suspenders linked in the description box below as well as on my website. Whilst everything's off my bed, I'm going to use a damp e-cloth, multi-purpose cloth, and I'm just wiping down the ceiling fan here, making sure that nothing obviously drops on the bed. If it does, I'm going to re-vacuum it. Then use my multi-purpose cloth and the polishing cloth just to clean my mirrors and the flexi edge wand to clean the coving and the, the ceiling tops. <music> In my last video, I mentioned that the gloves are giving me contact dermatitis. If anyone knows how you can treat this or cure it or just make it more minimal, I don't like the feeling of dry hands, so this is really, really irritating me. Please let me know. Um, any solutions? Maybe Vaseline before you put gloves on. Now I'm just finishing dusting up the counters and then I'm going to give the windows a good wipe down the frames, the sills, and using the e-cloth polishing cloth and the wet cloth, just leaves it so easy and streak free.
in one of my previous videos I, my daughter had these yellow marks on her bed and as you can see it just wiped off with just water and my multi-purpose e-cloth I am absolutely amazed I don't know what the stain was it was on her bed and this was actually at her head so I don't know how that's come whether it's a bit of a screw mark or something but look at that it has come clean with just an e-cloth and water so it's definitely not urine and the previous stain I got off I'm just so amazed was with vinegar and soda crystals now I'm going to open up her curtains um, there's another black mark on her mattress there which I'll do exactly the same wipe it down with an e-cloth and it just comes up I don't know what I'm just amazed <laughs> I'm sort of not too bothered about how I'm making my daughter's bed this morning because it's obviously been stripped right down to the mattress but I'm going to be pulling her bed out in a minute so I can clean the skirting boards and the e-cloth flexi edge duster does a wonderful job of getting in these wonky grooves of the skirting boards so pulling her bed out removing everything and moving it as you can see it's not the easiest of beds to move as there's another spare bed underneath it but it's yeah it's so much easier when it's away and you should see the dirt that was down there as you can see I'm using my flexi edge duster getting in the grooves it's long fibers and it is absolutely brilliant and so easy to clean <laughs> Now our headboard's clean, the bed is made and I'm going to show you how you can do hospital corners and make a corner lovely. Tuck it in, fold it up, tuck it in and tuck it in again. <laughs> I only tuck in the one side of my daughter's bed because she doesn't like being restricted when she's in bed. So it also just makes it a bit easier for her to move around in bed. And I do apologise, the camera footage here is slightly off but it will be fine in a minute, I promise. The other thing I wanted to show you is this is her bunny. She was the same size as this bunny when she was five days old and she absolutely loves that bunny. <laughs> My daughter is currently potty training in the night so she has a potty next to her bed and the reason we got it on a nappy pad is so if there's any dribbles it goes onto the mat and doesn't destroy the floor. As you will see in a minute her bedroom floor is destroyed but for the moment we are not changing her floor um, and that is one reason why I don't like steam cleaners and I love my e-cloths because there's no damage to wood floors. So if you want to find out some any information about e-cloths make sure you check my link down below. <laughs> One thing I've learned is when you're vacuuming your carpets, go in different directions every time you clean. That's the way you're optimizing your cleaning performance on your carpet. So like today I'm going side to side instead of lengthways on the carpet. Now I'm going to move into my office, clean off my <laughs> screen, my keyboard and my clutter of paper of my to-do list, which is down the side. And this lovely candle was donated by one of my subscribers. Thank you so much. And yeah, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Now 
Now I am going to be wiping down my massage chair. This is my office chair. It is so lovely. It's got a heat setting on it and multiple vibrating settings. But I tell you what, it makes such a noise through the house when it is on. <music> For any of you that think I'm cleaning a clean house, this is literally my daughter's room, my bedroom and my office. Look how disgusting and full my vacuum is already. Oh well, now that's my bedding. I'm going to go and put that in the washing machine, put everything back on the landing and move on to my bathroom in a minute. But my bedroom hasn't been vacuumed yet, so I'm going to do that first. As you can see, there's lots of marks on the floor. I don't like my canvas wardrobes, my temporary wardrobes, four and a half years later. But these wardrobes are absolutely brilliant for cleaning underneath. I hate dust under wardrobes. And because I can see the dust and the dirt, I have to clean it underneath. So I'm just going to run around the bedroom with my vacuum. Obviously, all the bits from the popcorn and the biscuits and everything has dropped onto the floor now that I've stripped the bed and give it a good vacuum. And then I'm going to mop it. And you'll see how easy the e-cloth mop is. I absolutely love it. I've re-wet re -wet the mop head and stamp stamp and there I go. It doesn't leave any streaks and doesn't leave the floor sticky and there's no mop bucket to carry around with you. Now that my bedroom floor is mopped, I want to show you the box room. I've obviously just mopped that, you've just seen it, and you can see there is no marks, no streaks, and it is super clean. It's actually shining, it is so clean. So, now I'm going to move on to my bathroom and give it a good vacuum. I did film, uh, sorry, I did clean my bathroom, but I forgot to film it. I thought I'd pressed record, but I hadn't. So now I'm just going to vacuum it through and give it a good mop. <music> I laid some laminate tiles down about a month ago now and you can see there's rings around the tiles. What that is is sealant and it will actually come off in time and I'm not really worried about it because as long as the floor is sealed it's brilliant and I don't have to worry about stray splashing in the bath getting under my floor. for some reason today I'm fighting with a duvet and I'm also fighting with a sheet it's going on I thought it looked all right mm, does it mm, let's see anyway just a bit of information if anybody else out there suffers with um, restless leg syndrome if you've got a electric blanket it does sort of well, I find it helps a bit with the symptoms I only get restless leg when I'm pregnant I'm not pregnant for some reason I've got it again now but yeah, the electric blanket does seem to ease it a little bit. Um, I wouldn't like to have this in summer because obviously you can't put an electric blanket on. But I just thought I'd share that bit of information. Maybe it's just me, but try it with the electric blanket if you suffer with restless leg syndrome. <laughs> When 
anyone to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too for watching <laughs> yes my bed got the best of me oh how many times have I made this bed anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the like button turn on your notification bell so you can get notified for any videos that I upload on a Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. any links to any products that I recommend as well as feedspot.com will be down in my description box as well as on my sticky mess 17 website Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, look after yourselves, look after your loved ones and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.